What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you probably know, it's been about two weeks, actually two weeks today, uh, since the stunt in Waterford Crystal. And for those of you that have been living under a rock for the last month, I was wrapped in 40 feet of chain, seven padlocks, hand and ankle restraints, uh, and I had two 25 kg weights, one here and one here, connected with a, weight, uh, with a chain. I then jumped into the deep end of the Waterford Crystal swimming pool, uh, which is about two meters deep and then they pulled the pool cover over me uh, which meant I was in complete and utter darkness um, Hence why there's no underwater footage was because once that pool cover came over I couldn't see anything nor could the camera uh, We also had a diver in the water. Uh, he's visible throughout the whole video and it's only when he gets the signal from the guys on the side of the pool once they start pulling the pool cover back he starts coming down and things had gone wrong I'll get to that in a second. So I had trained to be able to hold my breath for three minutes. That's what it was going to take for me to pick the seven locks, get all the chains off, get the weights off and get myself to the surface. It was three minutes. That's what we planned for. That's what we trained for. As most of you probably know, life has a way of taking those things, the best laid plans and turning them on their head. And today was no different. I was out of the anchor restraints, I was out of the hand restraints, I was out of the, 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 the locks on my body um, and I was just removing the, the last lock, I had to pick it off and as I moved my body to pick it, the chain slid, the weight slid, my body shifted and it pinned my head to the bottom of the pool. This caused the lock to go underneath one of the weights, which means I had to, while still holding my breath, get my hands underneath the weight and try and pick that lock from back here. I, I genuinely thought I was in trouble. Uh, I had no tell of time. I didn't know how long I'd been under the water. I didn't know if the diver could see me uh, to see a hand signal from me to tell, to tell him things had gone wrong. So I had to force myself to continue. I had to keep myself calm. I had to remain in that state of mind so that I could pick that last lock and get myself out. Um, luckily, the lads did go to the emergency plan, which was to pull the pool cover back, and it is slow. It is so slow at coming back. Uh, in the video, it looks faster because it's sped up, uh, but it was so slow at coming back. The diver went down, and he could only see as far as he could see, and he was trying to watch out for me, and he couldn't see me, but we as they were moving the pool cover back, I did manage to get that last lock off and I got my, I got the weights off and you actually see my head bang up against the pool cover as they're pulling it back and the diver literally grabs me and pulls me straight out from underneath the, the pool cover and that's when I'm able to breathe. Uh, even under the pool cover, I couldn't breathe. I, I, I was splashing around, I was trying to get out. Um, I had been free of all the chains and the locks and the, the, the everything, everything, the weights. Uh, I'd been free of everything. I just hadn't gotten to the surface and I couldn't with the, the pool cover over me and it was so slow moving back. But um, I got out and it was in total, it was four minutes, 19 seconds and 21 milliseconds. As far as I know, that's never been attempted in Ireland before. Nothing like that has been ever attempted in Ireland before. Um, nor has a person tried holding their breath while, while strapped to so much uh, underwater uh, in Ireland before. So it's, it's a big... It's a big, uh, big thing for me. So I'm not going to hold up the video any longer. I want as many people to see this as possible. So please, if you enjoy it, like and share it. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Shatter into pieces in 